Good morning, everyone. It is about 10.30. Uh, we're sitting at about $90 right now, which isn't too bad. Uh, we've had some people come in, you know, bought a few things here and there. That Miracle Piano NES game sold. Uh, I did sell the gold N64 system out here for $50. It was just the console itself. Um, he, uh, he had pretty much everything. He's missing, I think, now the um, Pokemon or Pikachu um, N64. It was the only one he was missing in his collection. Uh, so he didn't need any of the accessories or any, anything, he just wanted the console itself. So now I have a couple extra controllers, power and an AV I can put with other systems because I had some I was missing pieces for, so that helps me out as well. Well guys, once things start picking up, I'll let you know. Alright guys, it's 1230. Uh, we're sitting at about $314 today, which is really good so far. Uh, we did have one of our guys that I bought a lot of stuff come in uh, and I purchased another massive lot from him. I will show you here in a minute some of the stuff that's in it, a lot of PS1, uh, JRPG, some of the really high dollar ones were in this lot, um, but that'll be the next clip. I also picked up something else I thought was kind of interesting. I wasn't going to pick them up, but for the price, I looked them up, and it looked like it was a pretty good deal, especially since it comes in the original packaging. I've got two of the original um, 1989 game watches. I've got a Super Mario Brothers one. It's in the pack original packaging as well. And I've got the uh, Legend of Zelda. Packages are a little beat up, but I mean, heck, just to be able to have these in the original packaging is pretty amazing. All right, guys, let me show you a big clip of the uh, big lot that I just picked up. All right, guys, here's the first group. This is all mostly the PS1 RPGs that I bought and some other somewhat expensive ones. You can see the quality that is here right, that I've got in this group. It's pretty amazing. This is probably the most I've ever spent since I've been out here, though, as well. Probably doubles what I recently spent. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm just going to head over to the other stuff so you can see it. We got a... There's a clear green and a clear blue N64 in there. There's a, a original Xbox he just kind of threw in there. This is kind of more of the, the common PS1 stuff. There is a loose PS, uh, Parasite Eve in there, as you can see as well. There's a Sukoden 3 missing the manual, Super Dragon Ball Z, two Digimon World games, which is actually pretty nice. Some of the other stuff that's in here. Again, I paid quite a bit for this. Um, I actually, the was a complete in box copy of Tales of Destiny for the PS1. I actually sold that as soon as I was putting stuff out, kind of do a video on. Somebody come up and ask me how much I wanted for it. They uh, thought about it and they purchased it. Well, guys, once things start picking up here, I will let you know. And of course, we had another major purchase today. Uh, something my wife could not live without. Hey, hey. It is a Brussels Griffin puppy. She's like 15 weeks old. She's been getting into everything back here. I'm trying to see if I can get her a picture of her face because she is so cute. Hey, what are you doing? Up here. What are you doing? Yep, another puppy. All right, guys, it's like 3.15. I think we're going to go ahead and head out. Uh, it's just so hot. We're going to try to get the little doggy home uh, out of this heat. We've had a fan pretty much on her the whole time since uh, she's been out here. So we're going to get her back into the AC of our home. Currently, uh, we've done 410 for today, which is really good. Um, also, one of the gentlemen who uh, comes and buys a lot of stuff for me, I call him the high dollar collector. He's bought tons of high dollar stuff for me. He's actually sitting up out here now. Um, I think he started sitting up last week. He came by um, right before we closed, and uh, he looked through those PS1 games that I got the really good ones. He set a couple of them aside, said he'd be uh, coming back by tomorrow to pick them up. So that's real cool. I think he put Mega Man Legends, um, Chocobo Dungeon 2, and uh, I think it was Monkey Hero or Monkey Madness. I can't remember what the name of it was. Monkey Magic, I think was it. So guys, come back and uh, we'll be back here on Sunday. All right, guys, it's like 10.30 on a Saturday night. I decided to uh, go through all the games, the PS1 and PS2 games that we purchased today. Figured out prices for them. Uh, also determined which ones needed to be clean, so we set those aside in a separate box. And I've decided to keep three uh, four of these games for myself to add to my collection. First, we've got Breath of Fire 3. I actually have a loose copy of this, so I'm going to put that out at the flea market. Keep this one for myself. The next 
It's a game I have been looking for for a while. A complete. Never found it. Now I've got it. That is Breath of Fire 4. It is also in absolutely great shape. Very happy to add both of those games into my collection. I always wanted a Breath of Fire 3 complete. And I wanted a copy of Breath of Fire 4. Last one. I was very torn about getting this one or putting it in my collection. Kind of glad I got it because uh, I think I've got the remake of this for the PSP. That is Star Ocean. Another one that is in absolutely great shape as well. Well, guys, now um, we're going to go to bed and get up in the morning, and we'll see you back at the flea market on Sunday. Welcome back, guys. It is about 12.30. It has just been slam-packed here today. Uh, we had one of our old friends come back, the Tinker. Hadn't seen him in a month and a half. Today, he and his wife and two sons came in. Bought quite a bit of stuff from us. It was really cool seeing him again. Um, they said they were just been really, really busy with their work, so uh, it was really good to see them again. Currently, we're sitting at 261, which isn't too bad. Um, it is just super hot again. I think my face is melting. As we speak, it is just so hot. We basically, all the PS1 games that we set aside that didn't look real good, I have been cleaning those as people have been coming in and buying stuff uh, when I get a chance. Clean them, and I've been testing them to make sure that they work. So that's been keeping me pretty busy. Well, guys, once things start speeding up, I'll let you know. It is 2 o'clock, and we're currently sitting at 4.08. In the last probably 30 minutes, I sold two really expensive comics for 55, and I sold my Atari 2600 system with five games, the uh, combo that I normally do for 55 as well. So we're going really good, um, and it's still got, you know, still a good hour, hour and a half left before we leave. Well, guys, come back, and uh, you never know, we may sell some more. All right, guys, I thought I'd show you the PS1 games. I finally got them all out. They're mixed in with my other ones, but as you can see, there is just an absolute ton of them in here. Some really good ones on top of that. Here are the rest of them. And there you go. All right, guys, it's coming up on a quarter till four. We are currently sitting at $567, another amazing uh, day for us. I think that might have put us over um, $1,000 for today. It's hard to say. I'll have to see when I get home to do the wrap-up. The uh, gentleman who buys a lot of like, super expensive stuff for me came in and picked up the uh, games I put aside for him, the Mega Man Legends, Chocobo Dungeon 2, and uh, Monkey Magic. So that was like like 90 bucks right there uh, for us. So, guys, uh, if anything else happens, I seriously doubt it. I will come back. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned for the wrap-up. All right, I've gotten cleaned up. It's about 9.30 now at night. Uh, for the wrap-up portion, on Saturday we did 4.10. Sunday we did 5.67 for a grand total of 9.77. So we almost made 1,000. It was just an amazing weekend, even though it was super hot. Something I did forget to mention, on uh, I think it was on Saturday, we had uh, three gentlemen come out uh, and pay me a visit. They said they watched my YouTube videos, so that was really cool. 
They say they also have went out and saw uh, Scott, a.k.a. Scott Squatch, over in Pinellas Park as well. So uh, they came back three separate times to my booth that day, uh, which was really cool because each time they bought something different. They were the ones that bought the gold uh, N64. They also bought the Tales of Destiny for uh, the PS1 and quite a few other things. Well, guys, again, thanks for watching.